Hello everyone, my name is Ricky Wilson, celebrity makeup artist with Dior. I'm so excited to be here on set with Saks today. And thank you so much for watching this live. Dior is such an iconic brand, with the birthplace being at 30 Avenue Montaigne in Paris. I love the fact that during the first collection, Dior was coined as creating a new look. And that timeless, elegant femininity, as well as just really elegant looks, have transpired throughout the years to make this brand bold, feminist, gorgeous, edgy, and all of the above. So the products that I'm gonna share with you today are all about creating that blueprint look. So we're gonna start with skincare, we're gonna move over to complexion, and after that, we're gonna finish with fashion's finishing touch, fragrance. So stay tuned and let's go on this ride. I'm here today with my lovely model, Asha. And the one thing that I also wanna let you know is that Dior is championing in diversity and we'd like to make sure that everyone is seen in our brand. Now we're gonna get started with my favorite part, which is the skincare. Your makeup is only gonna look as good as your skin underneath. And I love the fact that Christian Dior loved flowers. This is a part of the DNA of this brand and you'll see really strong, potent, floral skincare and ingredients throughout the entire range. So I'm just gonna give you a snapshot into my favorite products. So I can't go through everything, but definitely these three products in skincare are gonna be your game changers. These are gonna be those products that if you wake up at six o'clock in the morning and you don't look your greatest, you put these products on and you're gonna look absolutely amazing. So we're gonna start with one of my favorites, and this is the Prestige Micro Oil Advanced Serum. I really love this product because it has these beautiful pearls, 10,000 to be exact and the interesting thing about this is that it contains 22 micronutrients and micronutrients I did some research on Google and micronutrients are actually nutrients that your skin cells need to be their healthiest so I want to go over here to Asha and what we're gonna do is we're actually going to do a massage so we're gonna warm the product up in our fingertips and we're gonna just start to place on the face here so you wanna make sure that you're evenly distributing your product. And while you're doing that, you're going to go down on the neck and you'll notice that this massage is such a great way to really make sure that you're getting the maximum benefit of the product. So this product is extremely concentrated with an ingredient that is a rose granville. And this rose is specifically designed with cosmetics in mind. It's extremely potent when it comes to anti-aging and it's really gonna get in there and just penetrate deeply into the skin. Also making sure that your skin is plump and it's full of those fabulous micronutrients. So this is definitely a game changer product and it is one of my absolute favorites. I know I mentioned oil, but don't worry. I have extremely oily skin and this is a product that I use every day with confidence and it never makes me oily because it actually feels very silky on your skin. So the next product that I'm gonna talk about is the Prestige Micro De Rose Eye Serum. So a lot of people are familiar with eye creams and I really love an eye serum because I think that if you're dealing with puffiness, darkness, lines and wrinkles, um, you know, fatigue in your eye, you can definitely benefit from this product. And this is another one of those products that I personally use every single day. Now the thing that I like about this is that the applicator is always gonna be cool to the touch and you'll see these fabulous massage pearls. So it's all about stimulating the circulation around the eye. So we're just gonna take and do a little bit of this. And what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna place the product underneath the eye in three dots. And why three dots? Because you don't wanna have like a ton of product underneath the eye. So we're gonna go three dots and after that, we're just gonna start to rock the product back and forth, back and forth, like so. And then after that, we're gonna go in and we're gonna take it above and go through the eyebrow. And this is gonna give you a really nice open eye effect. In Dior, we do everything three times. And I absolutely love this product because it's so smooth. It's always cool to the touch. You don't have to leave it in the fridge. Now you'll notice over here, if I have any 
like crow's feet or anything like that, I will do this massage here. The other thing that you can do is if you have any 11s, you can use this massaging applicator to kind of what I like to call iron out those lines there to kind of help to plump them up. And the other thing for consistency purposes, this eye serum actually contains the 22 micronutrients that are found in the micro oil de rose. The other thing is that if you have any lines here, you can use this applicator to just kind of massage up like so, and you can just massage any line, and basically what that's gonna do is it's just gonna go in and help to kind of plump up those areas. Now that the eyes are smooth and brightened, we're gonna move on to the Prestige La Creme. This creme is amazing, first of all, because the texture is essential for all skin types. So if you are normal, combination, oily like myself, you can use this product. So you'll notice me putting a little bit of the creme onto my fingertips. And you might be wondering, why not put the creme all over the palm of your hand when you warm it? The reason behind that is that you don't want to overuse your products. So we're gonna go here and we're just gonna take an inhale and we are going to place, place. And you'll notice that we're gonna do the same massage that we did. So in Dior, we're all about consistency. And when you do this massage, it literally will make you use less product and the product will be more beneficial. This cream is not only anti-aging, it's actually age reversal. So basically within eight weeks, your skin can look up to six years younger. And trust me, friends, I have seen this in real time. Like anytime I use this cream on someone, it just really awakens the skin. And I love the fact that it has the Granville Rose. So I wanted to talk about the Granville Rose because I mentioned it earlier, but this rose is specifically designed for cosmetics and it is exclusive to Dior. And basically what happens is you have a product that's gonna be high concentration and it's gonna work on many levels of your skin. So this is definitely the product for you. Now you're gonna notice with this, I'm actually going to start with another contouring gesture because this product actually also contours your face as well. So I'm gonna go in with my knuckles and I'm just gonna perform this beautiful sculpting contouring gesture. Now this gesture is really amazing, especially if gravity has become a thing in your life and you really want to lift everything up. So we're just gonna do everything three times. You might wanna sneak in an additional one if you like. And then after that, we're gonna take this and we're gonna do these piano fingers here. And this is a part of this gesture as well. So piano fingers here. And we're gonna smooth up to the temples. Hopefully my model is not asleep. I am. <laughs> and we are going to finish the skincare. So the great thing is, is that I can feel the skin here and I can feel that the skin feels beautiful. It's glowy, it's soft to the touch. It's not sticky, okay? If you ever try skincare and you feel like it's sticky, you're A, not massaging the skincare in properly, or B, you're using too much. So it's definitely a great thing to do this facial massage. So next we're gonna get the skin primed. It's so important to make sure that you're using the proper primer. And in Dior, we're gonna be using our Forever Foundation. And Forever Foundation is amazing. And these primers make that foundation even more amazing. So we have the Forever Glow Veil, if you want that 24 hour beautiful glow and vitality and luminosity to your skin. And then we also have the Forever Velvet Veil, if you prefer that amazing, super silky, flawless, no poor look. Uh, you can always mix and match these primers as well. So today I'm actually gonna go with the Glow Veil because I am gonna be using the matte foundation. So that way I get a demi matte and it's gonna be pretty, pretty nice. So I like to apply the primer with a brush. So I'm just gonna grab two pumps of the primer. And you'll notice that this primer is inclusive. So you can have any skin tone and use this primer. 
I actually have tried this on myself as well. So we're just gonna go in with this beautiful, beautiful glow primer. And I love this because I like to place it in the areas that I want the skin to glow the most. And then after that, I'll go in any other area and just use the leftover product. So that way you have a beautiful balance in the way that your skin is looking. Now you can also apply this with your fingertips as well. I just prefer to apply with a brush, um, you know, just a personal preference. As you can see, just with the primer, the skin looks beautiful and amazing and glowing. And the thing that I'll say about this primer is when you use either primer, you will not have to use as much foundation. So that's why you want to use a primer that's literally gonna keep your foundation on for up to 24 hours. Forever Foundation is up next, my favorite foundation for so many different reasons. The first reason, it stays on for 24 hours. The second reason, it is an 86% skincare base. So before any pigment is added, you're already going out of the gate with 86% skincare. The same floral skincare ingredients are found throughout the entire Forever range, and you have two finishes. You have a skin glow and you have a matte. You also have 40 shades, but in addition to the 40 shades, you have six undertones. So I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about undertones because it's very important for you to understand what your undertone is so that you can pick the right foundation and it's also going to help you pick the right makeup. So if you think of color like a spectrum and you have on one side pink and on the other side yellow, right? In the middle line, you have neutral. So our neutrals are a little bit of pink, a little bit of yellow. And then you have our warm, which is gonna be on the more golden yellow side. So if you ever forget about how to select if you're warm, if you look at yourself and you see more of a golden tone, you're definitely gonna be warm. Think of the sun. Now, what happens when you go outside and it's very chilly? That's gonna be cool. So cool has a little bit more pink in the skin. Now, in addition to all of those basic undertones, Dior has three additional tones. We have the tone that I'm working with now, which is Warm Olive. So I'm using Warm Olive here, and Warm Olive is one of my favorites because it literally just makes the skin beautiful and glowy and fresh, and I really love this undertone. Now, we also have Warm Peach, and Warm Peach I love because you have the golden tone, but you're also a little bit peachy, um, and that is another one that I love. Now, the other tone that we have in Dior is Cool Rosy. So if you try on a cool and you have even more pink in your skin that is showing, you definitely wanna go over to the Cool Rosy and that's gonna be your tone. So at Dior, we have six. Now, it's up to you if you would like to brighten your skin or if you'd like to darken your skin. So just make sure you have the right undertone. I normally like to apply the foundation in the center of the face and then I work my way out. The other thing that I do is before I get to concealer, I always take a little tiny bit of the foundation right underneath the eye just to start the concealing process. I'm not a fan of a, an abundance of foundation at the hairline, so I will use just whatever is left on my brush to give me a beautiful finish to the skin. And you'll see how this foundation is literally disappearing into the skin. So next up, the cult favorite, always in my kit, all over social media, this concealer is absolutely amazing. A part of the Forever franchise, this is the Forever Skin Correct Concealer. I love it for so many different reasons. First reason, 24 hours. Second reason, no creasing. And third, you can actually do a lot with it. Now to prevent buildup underneath the eye, look all the way for me, what I like to do is similar to the eye serum, I like to create three dots underneath the eye. And what I will do is I will blend either with my fingertips or I will blend with the brush. For today, I am using the concealer brush and I'm just gonna go in and just really brighten up underneath the eyes. And the other thing I love about this concealer is that it literally 
erases any sign of fatigue and darkness underneath the eye. And if you are a pro with your makeup, you can get a shade that is two shades darker than your skin, and you can also use it for some contouring as well. Then I go in with my finger just to warm up the product to make sure that everything is blended, and you'll see underneath the eye, no fatigue, no darkness, and super smooth. The last thing I like to see as a makeup artist is a pound of concealer underneath the eye. I think it's aging, to be honest. So I really love to get this beautiful, smooth effect while taking away all signs of fatigue, working well with that eye serum to deliver an amazing result. All right, so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna do our three dots. Dit, dot, dot. So after our three dots, we're just gonna blend and smooth. Now people always ask me, Ricky, like, should I go brighter underneath the eye? Or should I match my under eye area? That's all going to depend on personal preference and the makeup look that you're going for. If it's just a daytime makeup look and you really aren't going anywhere special, you should get the concealer to match your under eye area. And also a matching concealer um, is important if you're gonna use it in places that are outside of the area of the eye because you don't wanna put a brightening concealer you know, around your lips or you know, on the side of your nose. You definitely don't wanna do that. So you wanna have something that's gonna be matching and that way it can be used in different areas of the face. So another thing that I like to do is look down, I like to take one dot of concealer, like that, and after that, I will take and I will just blend with the brush, and this is going to be a product that's going to just kind of smooth out the eye area, give me a little bit of brightness, and this is so true if you're not doing any eye makeup for that day, and you just want to brighten up your eyes. So you definitely want to take this concealer, just one dot, you don't need more than that, because if you do add more than that, it's just gonna to be too much product. So you'll see that this really neutralizes any discoloration that is found on the eyelid. And also, if you are wearing eyeshadow for that day, it goes in and acts as a beautiful base for your eye makeup. Next up, I'm gonna use one of our brow products. And the thing that I like about this is that it's waterproof, so it's, it's good for year round. And the thing that I like most about it is you can create beautiful, natural, soft appearing eyebrows. And you can also create more graphic evening style eyebrows if you choose. This is my friend, which is the Kabuki Brow Styler. We love her. And we're gonna go over here, do the same thing. So because I don't like to do very dramatic brows, I always brush the product up using the brush, the Kabuki brush on the other end, and that distributes the product throughout the hair. And what that does is it gives you the uh, appearance of a fuller looking brow. So it actually increases the density of your brows as well. And this is really great for people that struggle with maybe your brows are very thin or you don't have a lot of hair. You can always use this beautiful Kabuki Brow Styler to achieve a fuller brow look. Nowadays, I'm all about adding sculpture to the face, redefining the bone structure, and I do that in a way that is so natural using the Forever Natural Bronze. I love the fact that this product is matte. Now, why do I love the fact that it's matte? Because if you're creating any um, definition, you don't want to have anything that is shimmering because it's not going to create a shadow. So I'm just gonna bring out these gorgeous cheekbones on Asha, and I'm gonna go over here and do the same thing. Now, if you don't know where your cheekbone is, the easiest thing for you to do is just to kind of suck in your cheeks a little bit, and you can use that line as a guide, and that's gonna tell you where to place your sculpting or your contouring product. Now, a common mistake that a lot of people make, in my humble opinion, is they go too close to the edge of the mouth, and that actually creates a look that is a little bit less desirable, in my opinion. 
and we're gonna take some down the neck, and this is gonna give you an illusion of a longer neck. We're also gonna take the bronzer around the hairline, and we're just gonna follow it over here as well. Let's say you had to run out of the house, you weren't doing eye makeup for today, and you're like, okay, I'm just gonna put on some bronzer, maybe some mascara. You don't wanna leave your eyes bare, especially if you did that dot of concealer on your eyelid. So what I like to do is I like to take the bronzer and just kind of sweep it over the eye. What this is going to do is it's going to warm up the eye area, and it's not really gonna look like eyeshadow, but it's also going to give you a little something. And it takes two seconds. So this is very a quick tip and trick for uh, those people that don't really have the time or just really don't like to wear eye makeup during the day. So now that we have our contours, we are going to hop right into highlighting. Now this is one of my personal tips. When you're highlighting for daytime, you don't need a lot. So it's very important to just do a little bit. And notice that I'm not even cleaning the brush because these are two products that you want to melt into one another. So we're just gonna use our Couture Luminizer, which is amazing. We're gonna take this and we're gonna go down the center of the nose, like so. And then we're just gonna do a little bit on the tip of the nose. This is just gonna bring the nose out. We are gonna go in the top of the cheekbone, here. And this is gonna add luminosity and radiance to the under eye area. We're gonna go a little bit on the Cupid's bow. And I'm gonna take my finger and I'm actually going to go in to the eyelid with this again. So next up, the lashes. My favorite dynamic duo, Dior Show Lash Maximizer 3D and Dior Show Mascara, my first love. The first time I ever fell in love with the mascara, it was Dior Show. So I love this primer because it is not only just a primer, it's actually a treatment as well. So there are fabulous proteins that help to strengthen the lashes and make sure that they are longer and stronger. So I absolutely love this. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just go in and use a ton of this and then I'll use like one or two coats of mascara. Now people always ask me if I like to have this dry before. Uh, I personally do because I think that I get a better look out of my eyelashes. But if you don't have the time to allow it to dry, you can just put your mascara on immediately following. The other thing about this product that I love is that it's gonna give you a 24 hour curl so if you have straight lashes that you really need to kind of lift up, this is definitely the product for you. I've even used this product on people with stubborn lashes. Like, you know those lashes that you use a, a lash curler and then five seconds later they're straight again? And this works wonders. And next up, Dior Show Mascara. I love Dior Show Mascara because it is very dark. The brush is extra, extra large, so you get this beautiful false eyelash effect. And it's also extremely nurturing for the lashes. Now, any mascara can clump if you allow it to. So one of my tips is to make sure that you always wiggle the brush in the base of your lash before you extend. If you just coat the tips of your lashes, they're just gonna hug each other so that wiggle in the base is really gonna help to fan them out and extend them and give you a beautiful end result. All right, everyone, next up, we're gonna finish this look with Rouge Dior. So in the first fashion show, Mr. Dior had the models in a beautiful shade of red, and we have an iconic shade of red that you will check out, but today, we're really into this nude vibe, okay? So I'm definitely gonna choose two different Rouge Dior nude shades and we're gonna create a beautiful effect to the lips. So the first one is gonna be the 100, and the 100 is gonna go in the center of the lip, like so. And this is a universal nude, so it looks great on everyone, especially if you're doing this technique. The thing I love most about Rouge Dior is that the, the colors are designed to stay on for up to 16 hours. 
and you have shades for everyone. So we have an inclusive range of colors. And you can always mix and match your lipstick. Anytime I see someone with an amazing lipstick on, I always ask them what color they're wearing. And nine times out of 10, they say it's a mix. So that's why I mix, to create your own signature shade of Rouge Dior. So this is the 400, which is an amazing darker color. And we're just gonna take this color and go around the edge of the mouth. And this is gonna create this beautiful ombre effect. And then we're just gonna finish it off with some fabulous lip glow oil. And we also can talk about nudes. Like nude means different things to everyone. And the thing I always say about a nude lip is that it doesn't necessarily need to be brown. It just needs to not be bright. Finally, for the lip, I always like to use lip glow oil. Lip glow oil is amazing because it has cherry oil. It's not sticky and it literally is everyone's favorite. Like this product is so viral all over social media. So it really, really helps to have a few shades of lip glow oil. This is one of my faves, which is mahogany. And I'm just gonna take this and apply it on top of this lipstick and it's gonna end up looking so beautiful as a finishing touch to this look. Oh, wow. Now for fashion's finishing touch. Mr. Dior said that no look was complete without fragrance. So in Dior, we have amazing fragrances. We have our Miss Dior, we have our Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, as well as the Eau de Parfum. We have J'adore, which is absolutely amazing. I cannot select which one I like more. Uh, I love Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet because this is almost like getting a fabulous bouquet of fresh cut flowers. It envelops your skin in this beautiful, soft, feminine, just glory. I absolutely adore Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. So if you haven't tried it, I would suggest it. Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet perfume is an instant pleasure, a declaration of love and life that draws you in. I love that it's a duo of Damascus Rose and Peony, and this is really noble and passionate as well as being radiant, just like a soft caress and emotion. It's soft, it's beautiful, but it also has white musk to round it off. So this bouquet is definitely a women's fragrance that tells the story of love. So when I select a fragrance, it's all about the end game. It's like the total look. So I will look at what my client is wearing, I'll look at the accessories, I'll look at the way that the hair is, and I will select a fragrance because, you know, if you have leather on and you have all black and it's a very serious, you know, maybe you want to show up looking a little bit more sexy and sophisticated, and your fragrance should definitely represent that. So I always say, change up your fragrances. You can always have your favorite, like I have my Dior favorite, but change up your portfolio, you know, it just keeps everyone on their toes. They should never know what to expect from you. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to prepare the skin. We talked about prepping the skin with skincare, but how about your body care? I am gonna be showing J'adore Parfum Do, which is my absolute favorite, but before we even get there, I'm gonna show you how you can razzle dazzle and put a little glitz and glam into your fabulous makeup routine. Anytime we're doing red carpet work, the celebrities are made up from head to toe. I love the J'adore Adorables. This body line is amazing. And every red carpet season, this is a staple in my kit, okay? This is lightly scented with the notes of J'adore Parfum Do. And I love the fact that it is a beautiful shimmering body gel. So it just melts into your skin. It instantly makes your skin look healthy and gorgeous. Can you see the shimmer? Look at how beautiful that is, you guys. Oh gosh, I, I cannot wait to show you what this does on the body. So anytime you have any exposed skin and you're going out, you definitely wanna make sure that you use this product. There's a scrub, there's this, there's a body lotion, but today I'm just gonna show you this because I'm obsessed. Let me tell you, put your foot all the way down on the gas pedal with this, the more the merrier. It's gonna give you this beautiful, beautiful, glistening, gorgeous skin. And the illumination that I mentioned 
it's also 24 karat gold infused. So if you are using this product, you are definitely gonna be that person. So I'm just gonna go in with my fingertips and I'm just gonna start at the collarbone and I'm just gonna blend over the decollete area to give a beautiful, beautiful glow to the skin. And this is something that's really important as well because when you put on your fragrance, I've always been told that if your skin is dry, your fragrance will fly. So it's really important to make sure that you have moisturized skin so that your fragrance is gonna last you all day. This also works on the arms as well as the legs. It is such a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous, glowing, shimmering body gel. Now for my favorite, J'adore Parfum Doe. This is a revolutionary product in fragrance because it only has water and flowers, that's it. It's amazing because it's fresh, it's soft, it has beautiful notes of jasmine and magnolia, so it's very soft and fresh, and it can be worn year round. When it comes to this fragrance, the more the merrier. You don't ever have to worry about J'adore Parfum Doe smelling overwhelming. It's just that beautiful, crisp, fresh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. And one of my tips when it comes to fragrance is when I travel, I actually like to spray my clothes. And you can do that with confidence with J'adore Parfum Doe. So we're just gonna start here. And you see the mist is generous. So you don't have to worry about using too much. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful scent. And we absolutely love J'adore Parfum Doe. Okay, friends, we've reached the end of our time together. I'm so sad. What I shared with you today, like I mentioned in the beginning, is only the blueprint. It's the products that I keep in my kit. Everything that you see today is fully shoppable on Saks.com. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, my name is Ricky Wilson. And until next time, we will see you again very soon. Thank you.